feel like I can definitely see your body language and movement here. It was wild. Boom! This just feels special because they're doing a fight scene in a different way. What's up guys, we are back with another very exciting episode of Stump and React, and now we have Amy Johnston joining us today. It is a pleasure, an honor, and a privilege. Hi guys. <laughs> Thank Hi you there. For Thanks us. for having me here, this is a nice couch. So I am a longtime martial artist, and a lot of stunts and action, and now acting. You've been in like, the star of a couple features, right? I have. That's freaking awesome. Thanks man. You guys ready to jump in? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh my god, look at him! <laughs> he looks ridiculous! <laughs> they both look pretty ridiculous. Yeah. What was he doing before this? Okay. He was halfway through his haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't even try it. Don't do it again. Wasn't she also in like Operation Condor? Yeah, Cynthia Rothrock was one of the... Her and Michelle Yeoh were kind of very prominent in the 80s Hong Kong scene. Mm. <laughs> Don't Bruce Lee. Look at him go. Oh, oh my god. Oh. You do not want to be kicked Dang. by Samo. I wonder if they had her do it or if they had a stunt person. Oh, they definitely had a stunt person. Yeah. No yeah. way she's That's just some that. other dude with yeah. a wig. I don't think he would have wanted to kick her that hard. <laughs> like, that's full on. Dang. Ouch. The stuntman was probably going to use the chair as like a cushion to what break his fall, yeah. but he went over the, <laughs> over the chair. Oh. It's called a taco, a taco <laughs> fall. Okay. It's when your legs go boop. You can see like tape markers too with where the chair is supposed to be oh, placed really? after it goes up. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this little expression from Sam right here. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> fine. Just shrug it off. Yeah. Literally. Uh. Oh that man. Cool. Oh no. You don't need that position. Hi. Oh. Hi -ya. Oh, oh man. Oh. Just dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. On the tile? Dang. That's, That's above the head. That was above the head, right? <gasps> and he pulls ow, it down. Ow, 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 ow. I feel that. Oh my god. <laughs> that one looked like there was some real pain. He did the full arch. He did a full bridge. Usually you kind of like roll over to your side and you go, uh, uh. But he went, Ugh. She was probably was padded Hulk up, smash. right? Uh, that was definitely padded. If you're going to get Hulk smashed by Samo, you should pad. Dang, yeah, agreed. So what do you think is worse, that or the sidekick? Oh, that, 100%. Because the sidekick, you can like have a little more control. This is just a full Straight Hulk down. smash onto your back. Yeah. Have you had any broken bones? No, I've torn my ACL. How long did the ACL take to recover from? Six months. Dang. Yeah. Was that part of a, a shoot? Yeah, it was right before the Lady Blood fight. It was my first like feature film as an actress. Breathe. There's a lot of differences in filming like Hong Kong action compared to American action. America, we have a lot of like amazing pads and things that we do. Here, I remember the first day I got to set, they had like a Hello Kitty pad that was like this small oh for God. a stunt pad. And I was like, Where, do you guys have pads? We're like, yeah, 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 we have, we have all these pads. I'm like, oh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> they kind of just have their way of, of doing things. Oh, wow. dang, look at him hot Just straight up, like, yeah. runs up and punches you. He's, like, winding <laughs> He's up as he winds He's from, like, <laughs> four spots back. Like. I know, and I still didn't see him. I should have heard him, Seriously? right? <laughs> yeah. Boom! <laughs> 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 ha! <laughs> the guy's running away from you. Tackle! <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, dang. Should have tipped. Should've that's tipped. that's the tipped. moral of the story. <laughs> 15%. If you are enjoying the show and you want to see more of these episodes, please consider subscribing to the Corridor Crew channel. Helps us out and helps you out because we get you the videos you want even quicker. So outside of filming you for real doing fight scenes, uh -huh. you've also been filmed by computers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I mean by that is you've done motion capture for video games. Yeah, so I do motion capture for a lot of video games. Basically, you get into that onesie suit with a bunch of balls that are on your joints and different areas of your body, mm. and they have a reflective surface, so there's a bunch of cameras in the volume, which is where we record motion capture, and those cameras are picking up the reflectors on okay. the balls and then syncing it into the computer, 
and then you have like a real time um, animation of my character movements that you can link to like the actual character that's designed. It's freaking cool. So you don't have to worry about makeup, you don't have to worry about... No, it's the best. You just get a play. <laughs> I've come so far. A lot of these stunts, what I'm actually doing is in the stage, I'm running, I'm jumping off of an apple box, and I have an actual ice pick in my hand, oh, and wow. there's a bar above me, and so I run, I jump off that, and I ice pick the bar and, like, hang. It's huh. wild. <laughs> and, like, climbing with the ice pick, it was wild. I'm not turning back. And that, we were cheating, it's like, the, my body being horizontal like that. Mm -hmm. All I did was, somebody was holding a rope, and I held the other side of the rope, and then I leaned my body over and went back and forth on the volume and tried to, like, have the momentum of going from one side to the other, like, quick, 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 slow, quick, 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 slow. <laughs> like, it was just running on the to, ground? Tr running on the ground, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And do you have to land on solid ground or do no. they incorporate pads? So the amazing thing with motion capture is you can incorporate pads because you don't see them. Yeah. So you can have all of these things that you want to play with, like awesome. mini tramps and anything your heart desires. It's like a playground. So that was a trailer and I did all our all our movements for that. But then in the game there's multiple people performing the the movements as well as the voice actors. So a lot of times like the motion capture performers will do all of the movement set and the voiceover artists will just record it when everything is done and they can record over it. Mm -hmm. Other studios have the actors on set while you're doing the movement and um, they're saying the lines while you're doing the movement. Or sometimes they do the movement. It's uh, different with different studios. I feel like I can definitely see your your body language and movement here in this fight scene. Like that, that wasn't me. That wasn't you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang. Yeah, it's really cool to see like when I'm moving or like if I know how my friend runs, I'm like, oh, that's so and so. <laughs> I always geek out when I get to do lightsaber stuff, though. <laughs> and like for Fallen Order, I did a lot of, a lot of stuff on that. So fun to try to make it look different, because we've seen a lot of swirly, you know, twirly lightsabers. We've seen the more gritty, and, and I wanted to, well, we wanted to use like each other's weapons on each other. And I like pulled a knife out of one guy's back and threw it at the other guy. Wanted to really work with what I had there. So there's no, there's no one with like a fake camera or like a motion tracked like viewfinder on set when you're doing this? Um, sometimes there Some, is. Some, sometimes, sometimes they'll bring in the actual uh, camera to, to see the environment as we're going through the scene to get an idea of like where they want the movements. It's pretty amazing technology. And they can make you jump like 20 feet higher. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome. If you guys are like, I have a scene that I want you guys to talk about, we'll get a professional on and we'll talk about that scene because we love reading your comments. Comment or, or die. die. Right? It was, right? Okay. The first time I said it, the second time. Oh, don't grab starts licking his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, like that went down. Love it. Just getting Love it. <laughs> the crash pad is just people. I always love group fights because everyone in the background is doing the ultimate putty of like... <laughs> Woo. Where does that putty term come from? Power Rangers. There it is. Amy, you've had to take falls like that before, right? Yeah. Thankfully, now we have a lot of great padding that we can place gator backs and things to protect our spine. But in like the earlier days and a lot of Hong Kong cinema, like they really didn't use much padding. A lot of people say like, you know, I could fall to be a stunt person. It's not about like if you can, it's can you do it multiple times and hit your mark and still like act out the scene. Um, mm. That's what that's what a stunt person does. So how, how do you take a fall like that and minimize your pain? Um, first, you have a good partner that knows how to throw you. So like Jackie knows what he's doing because he's a stunt guy. He knows mm -hmm. how to throw people in the right position. It's just about landing in certain areas of your body, like the more meaty parts of your body, more muscle to protect you. Mm -hmm. uh, stay away from your bones. And you never want to be too tight to where your body's like tense. Hmm. You guys have taken falls. I've seen you guys do things. We did a scene together. We did a scene together? What did we do? Oh, this is sorry. So <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. What did we do? I'm so well, sorry. Let us remind you. Can I? <laughs> Remember we like. <laughs> what did we do? We like trained a week for it and like, you know. <laughs> no, it was like. Not. You know what it is? 
I remember working with you guys. I don't remember what. Oh, this is great. I've worked like a few let's, times. Oh, shit. Let's pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> we did that thing, this tip jar episode. For tip jar, jump. yes. Yes. Rock jump. Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> It's not a bunch of crazy stunts, but it was really intense because it was oh, all in one take. Yeah, this was fun. I really like this. It actually made sense for a one take as well. Yeah, agreed. A lot of people are obsessed with one takes, but most of the time it doesn't make sense. This was solid, like slapstick black and white. Definitely going for that Chaplin it. vibe. Yes. <laughs> uh, you kicked so, me. I know, but the kick didn't connect though. <laughs> Did you want it to connect? I mean, it sh I mean, it should have looked like it connected, right? Yeah, we did like ten bottle breaks Ooh. in a row. Do those fake bottles hurt? The softer somebody hits you with it, the harder it hurts. So I've had actors that like are afraid to hit you with the bottle. I'm like it's breakable. The last thing you want to do is not go for it. Please go for it, <laughs> so we can do this once and and get it done. How many takes does this take, you guys? I think it took us like three times. This is an impressive long take, guys. Yeah, I love this scene, it's great. It was fun. We totally did a scene together. Yeah. Yeah. You totally yeah. forgot about the scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did a scene together. Oh, they're imagining the fight? Yeah. Oh my god. It's goodness. in their head right now. Isn't that beautiful choreography? Yeah. It's hard to like define what makes choreography good. What do you think? I feel like it's a conservation of movement. Like, you know, when you hit, then your next move should be a bounce, a rebound, and like into something else. But also like you still have to come up with like clever moves. Like it is hard to do like how can you cleverly block a sword? Like I feel like a lot of the lightsaber fight in episode one of Star Wars like had those clever moves in it. But also seeing like power, like you know, the spear bending and stuff. Like the power hits. Oh yeah. Woo! Like, look at that. I love that love move. Love that. Look at this dodge he does right here, right? Right there. You can see it. It's crazy. You better dodge that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you trust Donnie to come at you with a spear? Yeah, I'd trust him. I mean, even if I got clipped, it'd be cool to say that Donnie Yen stabbed me Donnie with a spear. Donnie Yen stabbed me? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you lose your eyes? Oh, yeah, Donnie Yen. Yeah. yeah. Something that's really subtle in this fight scene is that they've enhanced the weapons so they glow and really stand out. They're turning them into like lightsabers. You can really follow them with your eyes and see every move. Oh, is it just one move that ends it? That's great. You get the full fight scene, and then yeah. it's just this one master move at the end. Yeah, because he figured out all of his attacks and his counterattacks. Right? This just feels special because they're doing a fight scene in a different way with amazing choreography, but it's packaged in this very interesting like uh, story beat, you know? Mm -hmm. The two artists who are performing the choreography is really what makes it special because their movements are great and perfectly timed. They're not always just going straight attacks, like they're using the environment, they're going for each other's legs, not just the head. They're able to perform specialty moves but still have it make sense mm -hmm. for attacks. Are they imagining the same thing? I don't know. Because what's Donnie Yen's version of this? Like, <laughs> like is, he, is he winning, or are they both so in tune? Well, no. Maybe They're both not. listening to the same song. That's and then the true. musician's dictating the flow of the fight. Mm -hmm. The flow of the fight, in sure. In heads, or in one, one mind. In one mind. Maybe we should film what's in the other mind. That'd be so funny. <laughs> They're just the like on the beach thing. drinking my yeah. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, sometimes when you order your merch to be restocked uh, two months ahead of time, well, sometimes the restock happens in the middle of a virus pandemic when 10 million people file for unemployment. But hey, guess what? CorridorDigital.store has been restocked. So if you are one of those out there who's fortunate enough to still be working, working from home, and you're looking for something comfy to impress anybody else who's also in the house with you in isolation, head on over to CorridorDigital.store. We actually just restocked a bunch of our most popular things. We have the Corridor Digital Green Screen Blanket back in stock. So that not only keeps you warm, throw it up behind you and make it look like you are in a fancy office or on a beach or on a mountain. We also have the motion capture crew neck back in stock. We have the joggers back in stock, which are a very, very popular item. They tend to sell out in like an hour. We have a new yellow long sleeve shirt. We have some backpacks left, a whole bunch of good stuff. 
I'm here to tell you guys that this stuff is really high quality stuff. Each piece we sell is gonna be lasting you for years. And, and see here, this, this corridor onesie on baby Gwen. Well, this thing this is gonna last her years too. I bet when she goes off to college, she's gonna have this on her back. Lastly, there's free returns on everything. So if you know something doesn't fit, don't sweat it, send it on the back, we cover all the costs. You know, in the future, uh, when, <laughs> when we get back on our feet, we'll make sure to restock all these things once again, should any of them sell out, so that those of you who want an opportunity to buy these, but are saving your money right now, well, you'll have another opportunity again. But for everybody else out there, if you happen to want any of this stuff, it's in the store right now waiting for you. CorridorDigital.store, go check it out. So you know what's crazy? Amy actually wrote a book called How to Stunt in Hollywood and she did all the hard work for you guys. She went on set and she went and visited all of her friends and she asked her friends all the questions that you guys would ask and compiled it into a nice little book. It's actually on Amazon, you guys can pick it up. If you guys want to follow more of Amy's work, she's on uh, Instagram at Amy E. Johnston. So head over, give her some love. Thanks for coming out and doing this. Yeah. Thank you guys, it's been super fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like we should fight now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh.